Maple sap is 97 to 98% water. There's only 2 to 3% sugar content in here. So when we're boiling this down, it's the final 2 to 3% that really makes the maple syrup at the end. So we're going to collect this 97 to 98% water and then we'll be boiling off all of this water to leave the 2 to 3%, which is your maple syrup. The sap that comes out of the tree is clear, just like water. So if you're collecting it and you notice that it starts to get a little cloudy, that means your maple sap has spoiled and you'll want to throw it out. It will not make good maple syrup. Maple sap will spoil if it's not kept refrigerated. So if the temperatures start to go above 36 degrees, you want to make sure you store this in a cold place. Otherwise it will spoil just like milk. Each day you'll want to, sometimes even twice a day if it's warmer, you want to drain the sap out of here, put it into a bigger container, store it, and remember, make sure it stays cold. 35 degrees is ideal. If you can keep it right at freezing at 32 degrees, that's good too. What I've found in processing maple syrup for nearly two decades is that a freezer can help extend the amount of time that your sap can go from boil to boil. By taking all of your sap, collecting it in large five gallon buckets and putting it in a chest freezer, I can freeze it solid and keep it for another week until I need to boil down. So we're going to cover up our maple sap and we're going to continue to collect our maple sap for another week or so until we probably get maybe 30, 40, or 50 gallons and then we'll boil down over a wood fire and start to produce our maple syrup. This is just the first part of it, collecting your sap, storing your sap, and then we'll get to the boil down stage.